The message you wrote previously is still clearly visible on the teacher's desk. No one's responded yet. I wonder if anyone's even seen it. My message. Everyone's taken quickly. Please remain alert and aware of all times. Oh my. I'm so glad you could, we could finally find each other before we died. We'll set off on this journey together, holding hands forevermore. There is nothing to be scared of as long as we have each other. We know there is meaning in our lives because we were fortunate enough to find our soulmates, to find one another amongst all the fish in the sea. To our mothers and fathers, take heart. We died happy and unwanted for nothing. When we finally pass over to the other side, our hunger pains will be gone. We will fly it up to heaven and be joyous forevermore. Our only regret is that the pain our deaths will cause you, but one day we'll meet again, up in the golden realm of the ever after. At certain senior high school, class 3-2, Hotaru Kanzaki, class 2-4, Neyuto Minatagawa. There's a on the wall here. Idiots, there's no getting into heaven from here. Dear. Hotaru Kanzaki. Neyuki. Okay, so now I need a key. Oh, my back. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Actually, let me check the... Amy's hand lands squarely in the middle of a sea of broken glass from a fallen light fixture. The skin between the index finger and thumb on her right hand was cut wide open. Oh, oh, oh it's bleeding pretty badly. I hope the handkerchief can stop it. Just found out I'm anemic yesterday, too. Great timing, huh? Starting to get dizzy now. Not good. I need to sit down or something. Well, sitting is not an option right now, darling. It's not like you're going to be rescued, after all. We already tried everything we could to get out. We exhausted every possibility. You might live another few days, maybe even a week or two, if you tough it out. But you can stand to live that long with nothing to eat, nothing to drink, no change of clothes. Dying is just a whole lot easier. So come on, join us. We're all waiting for you. It might even be fun. There are so many ways to die. Just imagine the possibilities. But don't worry. We're waiting. After all, waiting to welcome you. Shut up, shut up, shut up! All right. Oh, uh, let's go in the room next to it. Uh, do a temp save of it. Uh -huh. I didn't need to do a temp save. There was a save. One book is sticking out farther than the others. It's begging to be perused, circumvading the ancient world. Really? Sure, why not? The cardinal directions are to be laid flat upon the clock face, with additional divisions placed amongst them to mimic fully, fully times twelve notches. Begin with the rat affixed at due north, the twelve signs of the Chinese zodiac shall be labeled clockwise around this timepiece compass. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, ram, monkey, rooster, dog, pig, and then back to rat. For ease of remembrance, it's best to equate each direction with both its zodiac sign and its hour on the clock. North, then, is then is both the rat and twelve. East is the rabbit, and east by southeast is the dragon. This is the base of circumnavigation within the ancient world. Okay. Breaking news. Oh, don't read it, I guess. Oh, I was gonna read it. Yes. Over the past month, new children have gone missing within the town. The authorities quickly turned to kidnap. Oh, we already. Okay, we have read this. No mind. Boop. Do -do 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 -do. Let's get out of this little room. All right. Um. Do 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 do. Okay. So I guess we're going through that opening in the stairs there. Oops. Welcome to the Horde. Side effects include rotting flesh, horrible smell, limbs falling off, and if you experience an erection lasting longer than four hours, don't worry, that'll fall off too. And yes, that goes for women as well. 
An unseen force is pushing back, running from protesting any further. Okay. Iris? Iris, do you need to go outside? Do you want to go potty? Alright, couch, stop. <laughs> Thank you. Snorlax is my friend. <coughs> <laughs> well, that helps. Just in case we need a zodiac calendar. Ooh, what's this? It's coming with a note on the floor. There's one thing I've learned from all of this. The children are victims too. They're not at fault here. They're not the ones we should hate. The murderer is the one who created this cycle of resentment and cruelty. Their murderer is our true enemy. Yes. Yes, he is. Still no use for this bucket. Okay. Back down we go, I guess. Actually, let me go back to that room real quick, just to make sure nothing changed on the desk. Okay. Downstairs we go. Wrong way. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I guess we're going back of this away. One A, just to check it. I did go to one A though. And nothing happened. At least to my knowledge. So what am I missing? Just has the locked room over here, I think. Yeah. There's nothing there. So we'll talk to the pissy flame real quick. I'm sorry. We'll talk to the less pissy flame. I've just had enough. I need a little key, it says, for that one thing. Which I have not found. Lever is stuck, it won't budge. There does seem to be a, a space for it to go down, more notch, but the mechan mechanism is locked. There's a tiny peculiar shaped hole, through hole in the base. I'm looking for a key. Where that key is, don't know.
but it's not up here. torn piece of newspaper on the ground looks like the top half of the article. I've probably read this. Light and dark side of the head on those elementary people. Ground was broken by Tungeon's Minnesota Heavenly Host Elementary School building in 1952. It's quickly become a source of pride of the towns as no elementary school has stood within the Tungeon borders of all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been commuting to neighbor neighboring towns for class, so for them... In particular, Heavenly Host truly was a godsend. The coveted position of a principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named Takamine Yanagihori. Yanagihori quickly became popular amongst the townsfolk for his charismatic personality, his work ethics, and his firm but fair school policies. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessitating frequently frequent desk and chair reorders and even general building expansion. Essentially due to Yanagihori... Yanagi Hori's unwavering dedication and heavenly host became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tenjin. But all that began to change at the dawn of the fateful day, with an incident that would set the stage for heavenly host's rapid fall from grace. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. What's that? I'm sure I left it outside in the hallway. Did someone move it? No yet, but I'm I'm figuring shit out slowly. Cut the tongue from your scissors. It's so thick and warm, but how will you know tongue is tongue it is later when you have a bunch more? Simple. Label it with a name tag. The tongue is very tender and squishy, so stick the safety pin in deep and keep the label from slipping away. There's a spirit here. Back away slowly. <clears throat> I can't go this way. I can't bring myself to see Suzumoto like that again. I feel like I'll lose my mind. Bitch, we don't have a choice. I got the doll, though. So let's talk to the spirit, but we'll just tempt save first, so when it kills us... He's staring right at me. The deep black iris of the boy spirit left eye transfixed the enemy's gaze. It began slowly expanding in size. I can't. Move my body. Mary's iris continues to grow, slowly and methodically enveloping Ayumi until its only blackness remains. The world vanishes. In the distance, a white, white face breaks through the darkness, shining with its own unnatural light. No, no, please, no. I'm scared. The face seems distorted as being viewed through water. Its version shifts from wobbles at first until finally, with some effort, the image clears. You've seen this face before. Oh dear. Sometimes it's just fun to see the deaths, though. Alright. <laughs> Teach me to read slower. <laughs> we'll trade. No, I don't want to watch the intro again, sorry. Well, I forget if I 
save before I read it or after, but whatever. No, we did. Alright, and she won't go upwards. So, I have the doll though, so what do I do? Weep, weep. Where, where is that coming from? It sounds muffled, like one of those toy Mika doll telephones. It's definitely close. It's that damn doll. It's making noises again. It won't let me go this way yet. Let's not go the way. The air is really heavy. Okay. They have little pink feet, don't they? Dolly doll, what is the point of you? Okay. You're a liar. A liar, a liar. Those child spirits didn't give a crap about the killer's stupid repentance. Give me back, Suzumoto. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Your voice really travels. Kushinuma. Okay, Shinozaki. You okay, Shinozaki? You're the one to ask, what on earth happened to you? There's blood everywhere. Oh, well, as soon as you turned that corner before I got struck in the noggin from behind. And I'm fine, don't worry. Don't know exactly where, but I was locked up in some gloomy little room. The child spirits were there along with some really big dude holding a hammer. How did you get here, then? Well, after a little while in that room, I lost consciousness again. And when I woke up, I was in the first floor hallway. Oh, did any- but somebody carry you there? So, so did somebody carry you there? Either way, I'm just glad you're alright. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't want anybody else to die. Yeah. I am not mistaken. If each of those children's spirits were to find peace, even if they had to be appeased one by one, then those closed spaces given shape by their bound souls should not be able to remain in existence. We let them hear the killer's regrets, though, and it did nothing to help us. What kind of person are we dealing with here, anyway? The man with the hammer who attacked you, he was their murderer. Y you serious? It seems he's got a violent streak, even in death, as well. He harms the living indiscriminately. So your first order of business should be to quell his wanton behavior. And how are we supposed to do that? Based on my mentor's research, that antique doll you've got in your hand should be a good place to start. It belonged to him in life. He was given it by his mother, and reportedly, he relies on it to keep his mind leveled and his heart in balance. I'm certain he must be looking for it. Hold on a second. Who's this mentor of yours? My personal affairs are not your concern. What's happening? Sorry about that. <laughs> You'll, you'll need to find that man's body, or his remains at any rate. And should be in the school building somewhere. And if they and if you find them and return the doll to their side, everything will be just fine. Miss Seonoki? 
Your friend's death is your own fault. Oh, oh wow. Okay, bitch. What the hell was that all about? Can we really believe a word she just said? Maybe not, but it's a good place to start at any. Earlier, as passing through the first floor, the doll started crying, like weeping loudly. Seriously, let me tell you, I sure didn't miss having that thing around. Well, we might be able to use it like a tracking device. It could lead us right to the murderer's body. Either way, let's keep moving, okay? Or can you? How's your head? Well, that's quite a bump you've got. That was a lousy aim, but he still hit my head full force with a handle. If he'd been more accurate, I'd be a goner for sure. Damn child killer. <sighs> You're lucky. I just happened to have some cloth, cloth bandages with me. I'll see what I can do about dressing them. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, let's see, oh, just ruined. Part of your prop closet, I take it. Guess I should be thankful for your horror obsession after all. <laughs> Alright, look at us go. We are together again. Like crazy, crazy ass friends, huh? I've already read it, thank you. I don't think there'll be anything this way, but we're going to go this way again. Nope, all right, we're not. I'm guessing the Naho chick, she's possessed. go up those stairs just real quick just to make sure nothing changes when I do because it would suck to go all the way through the school to find out I need to go up here <coughs> nope okay and the true mystery of this game is will Yuka ever get a go to the bathroom <laughs> Red door, six steps, horse, thirteen paces, rooster. Okay. So six horse, thirteen rooster. So you're gonna have to tell me what that means. You have the map, Justin. I'm at the door. 16 horse. <laughs> what did it say? 6 horse, 13 rooster? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was 6 horse and 13 rooster or something. Which way is horse? Okay, which, what is, <laughs> and rooster is down? Or is horse down? I don't know, I don't know which way goes what way. But this is only five. From Red Door.
I don't have a map in front of me. So, because it's, it's, it. But this would be six, I guess. That didn't do us any good, did it? I could have thought, sworn it said 13, though. Aha, uh -huh, I was right, it was, it was 13. Yes. With a bit of fidgeting, you were able to remove the item from its compartment. It's a small bag made of hemp and stained liberally with blood. <laughs> There's a name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 3-5, Ryo Yoshizawa. What's gonna be inside, I wonder? Here, have a look. No way, I'm not touching that thing. You look! Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. Probably a tongue. Ugh. But what? What is it? What's in the bag? See for yourself. The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. Return it. Return it. This name tag, it's a boy's name. It must be the ghost of the little boy. Shinozaki. What do we do with it? Ugh, it's so nasty. We give it back to its rightful owner. You out of your mind? Yes. Have you seen where we are? He's in the infirmary. Let's go! <laughs> At least I think that was him in the infirmary. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's save. Did I actually do it? I don't know. There we go. Okay. I know, no eye contact, right? Yeah, but... I mean, we produced the boy's tongue from her bag, but nothing seems to be attracting his attention. He simply isn't noticing it. In order to give it back his tongue, he needs to see it, to know we have it. So it's got to be directly in his field of vision, huh? Not gonna happen. If his eyes meet mine, I'm dead, right? And then what? Well, wait, hold up. I've never seen you shake like that before. Oh, all right, then. I guess a man's got to do what a man's got to do. He's all yours. <sighs> I'm gonna stop. Can't let his gaze meet yours. Crap, he's looking right at me. Yo Yoshizawa. That's right, I know your name. Show him the time. I feel bad for what happened to you, but I can't sympathize with what you're doing. Hurting strangers because of your own despair, pulling them into a horrible place like this. And killing them, you killed our dear friend. I can never forgive you for that. But this is yours, it's part of your body, so I'm going to give it back to you. Hand it over, Rue's tongue. <laughs> My tongue. Thank you, miss. What's going on? <laughs> 